2018 is coming to an end, and I got an email the other day from Limited Run Games, and it looks like they are doing an end of the year blowout sale. You wonder what that might be. If you're familiar with limited run games, they order games based on the pre-order or they order only a specific amount and then they sell them if they're sold out. But they've said in the past they have always ordered extra copies, uh, basically for like replacements in case something were to go wrong and to kind of like a, a few extra copies to take to like shows and events they can sell at the event. But uh, yeah, so I got this email and it looks like they're having a uh, backlog sale, basically it is what they said a backlog let me double check that a backstock blowout yeah that's that's what that meant blowout so from what it looks like uh, it's nintendo switch playstation vita and ps4 games will all be available along with some uh, surprise boxes so let's check it out i'm really curious to see what's going to be available and uh, if anything looks interesting that i haven't gotten yet from limited run games i don't have a lot of limited run games i keep it to a minimum i'm i can't obsessively buy them because i would be b more broke than i already am and listen you guys watch my channel, which means you collect games. You know how expensive this is. Let's start off with the uh, Nintendo Switch games and see what they got here. First one actually is the blind box, which I mentioned before, it's a mystery box. You're gonna get a random game selected. It says this blind box contains one random game from our past Nintendo Switch physical releases and one random trading card from our collection. Also says there is a possibility that your box could include a one of a kind printed plate card, which is an actual metal plate used in the production of our trading cards. You may also receive a rare limited run games autograph card, which can normally only be obtained by meeting a member of our team in person. Which brings us back to the whole them being at different like game shows and things like that. The assortment of games are as follows. Common, 86% of the boxes would either be Flint Hook, Mercenary Kings, Slime Sand, Saturday Morning RPG, Night Trap, Kingdom, or Thumper. Uh, uncommons, 10% of the boxes would be Thimbleweed Park and Oceanhorn. And the rare, 4% of the boxes is Ukulele and Fury. Yeah, if you get a rare ukulele is a 50 dollars game yeah for 30 dollars that's a kind of a good gamble but it's also a gamble it's a risk you're at a four percent chance you get ukulele so yeah let's see what their overstock is looks like we got celeste uh which i don't have that one thimbleweed park i do not have that one and thimbleweed park big box edition that that's pretty cool for 65 i'm curious to see what their actual stock is gonna be and how much of what they're gonna have is i forgot to mention this is all on new year's day so january 1st is when these will go on sale uh, it's first come first serve so just as you saw when we were looking at the nintendo switch blind box one day 20 hours 56 minutes what time are these going on sale then so if my math is correct it's 10 a.m eastern time on new year's day january 1st all right so back to what's going to be on the uh what they have for the switch mercenary kings i don't know if i mentioned that one or that uh flint hook uh saturday morning rpg i don't have that game i kind of want that game i really want that game physical actually i think that if i'm gonna get any of them i think it's gonna be that one I think uh, Slime Sand, Kingdom, New Lands, Thumper, Ocean Horn. That, that's another one I don't have that would be awesome to get. And then uh, Nintendo Switch Steelbook Blind Box. And what that is, there's no game. It's 15 bucks. You get a randomly selected Steelbook from a release of one of their games for 15 bucks. PlayStation Vita, we'll go next to the Vita, right? So Vita's gonna do a blind box also. That one's $24.99. Same stipulations as I read with the uh, Switch one. And let's see what the uh, what the odds are that you're gonna get. So the common are 65% of the boxes. Uh, uh, Oddworld, much as Odyssey, great game. Actually, I have that digitally on PS4 and Vita. Fantastic remake, actually. Antiquia. Uh, Lost, Antiquia Lost. I don't know that game. Should I be embarrassed to say that? I'm not sure. Darius Burst, CS, Ocean Horn, Fat Totem 90, Home, Rock Boshers. What the hell are these games? How do I not know these games? Silly ass names. Cyrilim, Risk of Rain, Windjammers. Oh, Windjammers. That one looks fun. Fallen Legion, The Bit Trip, Croix Lure, Croix Lure, Croix Lure Sigma, and Skyforce Anniversary. Uncommons. Oh, this looks interesting, actually. Sultan Sanctuary, La Mulana EX, Gunhouse, Phantom Breaker, Mutant Muds Super Challenge, Ease Origin. Ease Origin. That's that's an interesting one there. Cosmic Star Heroine, Exiles End, Nova 111, Mech Tales, Mecho Tales Developer Edition, Steam World Dig, Steam World Heist. I have Stealth Incorporated for Vita, and I did not get into it at all and then the rares are eight percent of the boxes looks like uh breach and clear saturday morning rpg skull girls skull girls skull girls all right ass divine hearts as divine ass divine divine ass hearts 
Runner 2, Nurse Love Addiction. Super Hydora, VA11 Hall A. VA11 Hall A, I don't know that game, but it sounds like the location of a expo. Like, hey, where's the expo today? It's in room VA11 Hall A. Bad joke. Bastion 2064, Senron Kagura. Odd World New and Tasty, Xenon Valkyrie Plus. Jeez, this list goes on forever. Uh, Revenant Saga, Hugh, Plague Road, Thomas Was Alone, Aqua Kitty, DX The Swindle, Swapper, Demo, Rainbow Moon, Solder X2, Futuridium, Zeo Drifter, One Way Heroin, and those are gonna be what's inside the random boxes there. All right, so let's see what the actual stock is gonna be for the Vita, and I assume it's gonna be most of those games I just mentioned. Ideally, I, I would think the percentage of rarity is based on what's available in their stock, so that's probably how that works. So the reason why it's 8% chance of those games that they probably have way less of those games I mentioned than what they have at the common ones. So available for pre-order or purchase that day is going to be Risk of Rain, Darius Burst CS, uh, Ease Origin Collector's Edition for 55 bucks. All right, that seems legit. I don't know what's inside the Collector's Edition. I'm curious. It's like a nice big box. Uh, standard edition physical Eve's origin game with reversible cover art, region free. 18 by 24 inch fold out poster, 72 page full color English art book featuring character profiles and illustrations, opening movie art and illustration gallery, uh, along with a beautiful shrink wrap. Big box featuring spot UV and embossing. Back to what we were looking at. Uh, SteamWorld Dig, SteamWorld Heist, Bosher's DX, Fallen Legion. Most of the games I actually already mentioned previously here. Oh, the uh, Munch's Odyssey Collector's Edition for Vita. I wonder what's in this one. This one looks sweet. Some of these I missed out on when they were available. Uh, you get the physical release game, uh, three four by six inch high gloss premium art cards, a double sided 18 by 24 inch poster. Uh, I don't, I, it concerns me when I see something that starts off with a double sided that's 18 by 24, but then it's talking about a poster. I get my mind out of the gutter. A beautiful, specially designed pull art die cut box designed to safely store all the contents. A collectible full-size aluminum can featuring art from the game's iconic cover uh, and a soundtrack CD containing the game's music. Right on. Do, 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 do. Next page. Nurse Love Addiction, $50. $50? Not for me. The Nurse Love Addiction Med Kit Edition. Alrighty, what, what the hell's of this? I, I I just gotta know. Oh, here's a picture of it. Uh, looks like uh, individually numbered high gloss durable rigid box with blue foil stamping and a ma magnetically sealed lid. Inside the box, you'll find a set of high gloss premium trading cards featuring art from the game, a physical soundtrack CD, a PlayStation Vita console skin, and sticker sheet. Five Nurse Love Addiction bandages and a region free physical copy of the game. Moving on. Super High Door Classic Edition looks awesome because it looks like a Super Nintendo box. Oh, Oh, I love it. So this VA11 Hall A, I, I don't know anything about this game, but the cover art looks freaking cool. It's unfortunate because I do love the PlayStation Vita and I loved collecting for it. I just, uh, these games are, uh, these games are expensive. I guess 25 isn't bad, but it adds up fast. It adds up real fast. Four games are at a hundred bucks plus shipping. Uh, yeah. Anyways, let's check out PS4. Gotta give my love to the PS4. I mean, come on. Honestly, I feel like I've ignored my PS4 and my Xbox One <laughs> since I got a Switch. And, uh, which is weird because I played the PS4. I played PlayStation exclusively for years as like my main system because I love the trophy system. And having no achievements on the Nintendo has still kind of like, I do feel like there's something missing. And I've talked about that in other videos before, but, uh, the convenience of the Switch and the collectability of it is just, it, it, it's awesome. I love it. And you know that, because I've mentioned that before. There's no secrets there about that. So yeah, let's check out what PS4 games are available. Let's go through the list of games first, and then I'll get to the mystery box. I kind of feel like that makes more sense. So we got Next Machina and Next Machina Collector's Edition. I would assume the Collector's Edition has some box with a soundtrack and some art and so on and so forth. Senko no Ronde 2. Senko no Ronde 2 Limited Edition. That looks like a cool box too. River City Melee Classic Edition looks sweet because it looks like it's in an NES sleeve. Got Double Dragon 4. I Then the special, the, the classic edition, I would assume it's the same where it's going to have a NES sleeve. Uh, Revenant Saga, The Bit Trip, Screen Cheat, Sky Force Anniversary, Quake Sleever. Sigma. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Fact Totem 90 Home. I know our classic edition for PS4 also has the same SNES style box here. Carol Blaster, uh, Carol Blaster Soundtrack Bundle, Thimbleweed Park, Thimbleweed Park Big Box Edition. We already looked at that for the uh, Switch, I think, right? Yeah, that was the Switch one. Uh, Kill the Bad Guy. That, that title is very specific there. Momodoro Reverie Under the Moonlight. Now, I don't know anything about that game, but the art looks sweet on it. And then they have one with the bundled with the soundtrack. Seralim, don't know that game. Escape Goat 2. 
Okay, Ace of Seafood. Alrighty, Ace of Seafood with the soundtrack. Cosmic Star Heroin, Antiquia Lost. Salt and Sanctuary. Now let's have that blind box here. Same as the other systems. Commons. 67% of the box will have Mamadora, Salt and Sanctuary, Darius Burst CS, Double Jagger 4, Flint Hook, Night Trap, Ocean Horn, Risk of Rain, Ace of Seafood. I didn't even notice that. Night Trap wasn't even actually one of the games that's going to be available for purchase. So if you want a copy of Night Trap for PS4, it looks like your only option is going to be with the blind box. But it's a gamble. You're not even guaranteed that's what you're going to get. Ocean Horn, Risk of Rain, Ace of Seafood, Future Unfolding, Antiquia Lost, Oregon Trail. Oregon, Oregon Trail. That's a good one. Escape Goat 2, Carol Blaster, Volume Gun House Home, Phantom Breaker, Sanko No Ronde 2. I hope I said that right. Fact Totem 90, Next Machina, Asti Breed, Ast Breed, Ast, Asti, Bread, Ast, Ast, Ast Bread, Ast Breed. Chariot, Crawl, Quixlior Sigma, Nova 11, Revenant Saga, Rock Boshers. I, I don't like saying that. Stealth Incorporated, The Bit Trip, Pex Variant. Oh, oh, Pex, like the, like the game event. Packs. Thimbleweed Park, Wonder Boy, The Dragon's Trap. Alrighty. That was not on the availability list. Uncommon. Musinx, Iron, Cryptical, Magicka 2, Exiles End, Splasher, Cyrillim, Windjammers, Mecho, Tales, Developer Edition, Rive, Screen Sheet, Toto Temple, Deluxe, Yesterday Origin, Cosmic Star Heroine, Bastion, Skyforce Anniversary 2064, Pixel Gear VR, Hugh, Kill the Bad Guy, Late Shift, Super Hydora, Typo Man, Absolute Drift, Bunker, River City Melee, Arrow, Super Gun World 2, Caladrius Blaze, Dear Esther, and Nero Voider. And the rares are going to be Firewatch, Lost Sea, Saturday Morning RPG, Dragon Fantasy, Oddworlds, New and Tasty, Futuridium, Rainbow Moon, Claire, Fallen Legion, Mecho Tales, Mitsurugi, Ping, Skullgirls Observer, One Way Heroics, Jesus Crimity, this list goes on forever! One Way Heroics, Ease Origin, Xenon Valkyrie Plus, Fury, Bards Gold, Breach and Clear, Deadline, N++, Jodum, Ass Divine Hearts, Lethal League, Absolver, Broken Age, Kingdom, Ruiner, Runner 2, Drive, Drive, Drive! Lone Survivor, Metronomicon, Mutant Muds Super Challenge. Looks like the PS4's got the uh, the most games. I mean, I guess that makes sense, right? More games are released on the PS4 anyways. And then uh, on top of that, they're also going to do the same as they did for the Switch. And it's going to be a uh, PlayStation 4 Steelbook blind box over 15 bucks. You get a Steelbook that had already been released, uh, randomly picked, no game included, of course. So many games I can't afford. So many games I want. I think for sure I'll get Saturday Morning RPG. What would be really cool, actually, would be to get the uh, the blind boxes for each of the three systems and do a video where I open those up. I gotta see if I can afford like 120 bucks. I know it might not seem like much, but it is. It, it is. I mean, the holidays just passed and gifts and all that jazz. So yeah, I mean, if you guys wanna see that kind of video, let me know. Obviously we only have like a day. If not, it is what it is. It would've been fun, but whatever. It's not the end of the world. So if Limited Run Games is anything that you're looking forward to that you kind of missed out on last time they were available and you wanna pick them up on New Year's Day, uh, leave a comment below. I'm curious what you guys are into, what games and what games I may have kind of overlooked here that I didn't know anything about that maybe I should look into also. So cool, if you guys like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed subscribe and share this video if you like the video. We also have a uh, Patreon. Even just that $1 a month would be ever so helpful. For all my Patreons out there, you guys see what uh, what your money goes to. It helps. It does. It definitely does help out. And I appreciate that more than you can ever imagine. You'll see the uh, names below of the Patreon producers. You guys are awesome. Love you guys. So until next time, this is Jordan. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.